Hi, I'm Scott Peppel, and I'm the Vice President for American Cladding Technologies. For the past 10 years at ACT, we've been specializing in a technology called laser metal deposition, using a laser as a power source, feeding powdered metal into the beam, and coating metallic surfaces, uh, principally for erosion or corrosion mitigation. However, there are other aspects of the technology we can discuss later. Um, when we first started this, we found that one of the largest obstacles uh, in our way was actually educating our customers and some of the advances of the technology and whether they, they can benefit from its use. So we thought we'd start a series of video blogs. The video blogs are principally um, uh, just some basic 101s about the technology so we can begin educating our customers or potential customers in regards to whether the technology could bring an advantage to their operation. The laser metal deposition, sometimes called laser cladding, which is a subset, in this area we use powdered metals to accomplish this. Uh, when I say powdered metals, we're literally talking various alloys, uh, nickel, cobalt, uh, iron-based, stainless steels, uh, numerous, and they atomize these metals into a powder form. The powder can be as fine as a talcum powder, all the way to more like grains of sand that you find on the beach. I have a little example of some here that I can show you. And this is a, a, a metalite or a powdered nickel alloy um, that literally flows just like sand from the little beaker. The advantages of the laser application will be discussed in future video blogs. Um, but the one you're looking at now is we're putting a coating on that has uh, two uh, performance criteria. It is both an erosion and a corrosion constituent. Um, and with that said, the material hardness that we're applying comes in at around Rockwell 66 to 71 on the C scale uh, and is highly corrosion resistant. People always ask us what in industry we principally support and it's really quite broad. I, I wouldn't say there's just one industry. Well, we're involved in aerospace both on the OEM and on the MRO side. Uh, power generation, uh, that ranges all the way from uh, waste to energy power production to uh, industrial gas turbine and that too is also both OEM and on the repair side. Uh, chemical processing, uh, valve manufacturing including ball valves, um, oil and gas exploration, locomotive transportation, uh, Department of Defense contracts, uh, all the way down to um, uh, mold repairs uh, like for a Budweiser bottle. Thanks for watching. I do hope this was informative. And don't hesitate to subscribe to our blogs at AmericanCladding.com. Thank you.